everybody. Welcome back to Dragon's Demise here at Origins 2018. I'm here with Patricia DeSalvo Varia. Via. Viera. Viera. You literally just told me it's going to be that kind of interview. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, yes, we are sitting down with Patricia DeSalvo Viera, uh, the writer and director of Tournament. Uh, we're so glad to be able to sit down with you again. I finally got a chance to see the movie uh, just last night, actually, and it was fantastic. It was so much fun. And so we're going to be doing our patented Jenga interview. It's not actually patented. Please don't sue me. Um, with her. Uh, okay. So we're going to do it a little bit slightly differently. Same general theme. Blue, instead of being her game, will be her film. Red will be the industry. A little bit of a mix of the gaming industry and the film industry. Uh, and then green will be wild. So if you want to get started, oh gosh. let's do it. <laughs> okay, it's been a while since I've played Jenga. You got this. I'm going to go with... Like riding a bike. Like riding this. a very wobbly bike. Okay. Okay. And on top. Oh, that's right. Got to make sure it balances. That's right. Okay. There we go. Uh, so, while <laughs> anything goes, yeah. if you were stranded on a desert island in the middle of nowhere with nothing but a DVD player or Blu-ray player, I don't know, uh, uh, what film would you bring? Oh, that's a good one. Hmm. What's going to keep you company as you slowly fade from this world. I don't know. I feel like going to be very judged by this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you could go any which way. You could be something super happy. No, you could just be I something know. that'll help you reflect. Yeah, I know. Um, I think maybe something adventurous okay. uh, from my childhood uh, and maybe kind of uh, like maybe something like Goonies just because, Ooh. you know, they have to survive and, you know, overcome obstacles and they find a ship to help, you know, get them out yeah. so maybe there you go bring yeah, in a little, me good a little luck. hope and good luck yeah, exactly all right yeah. goonies goonies <laughs> if you're stuck on a desert island uh let us go with the blue okay so we have talked to you and your brother before about the film tournament uh but it's been a minute it's been about eight months i think since we've spoken to you last and i know you guys have been sort of aggressively engaged in marketing the film putting it out there i know it officially premiered didn't it since then? Yes. Um, and how has that all been going for you? Um, we had our big Los Angeles movie premieres. Um, we had two different screenings, and it went really well. It was a lot of fun. The awesome. audience really uh, seemed to connect with it. There's lots of laughs, and um, yeah, it just it's been an amazing wild ride. Yeah, That's it's great. been pretty cool. Yeah, That's awesome. Meet, meeting people like you and Jacob, it's been it's been fun. Well, we're glad. Hopefully, you found other happy souls. Yes, lots of happy souls. Good. Gamers are generally really happy. Like they're just, especially when you meet them in an environment like this, they're oh, just yeah. like. Woo! And this is this is our mecca. Like, yeah, this no, is, it's great. This is it's been fun. Where everybody's the happiest. Yeah, it's fun. All right, go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, I don't really have a Jenga strategy, but yeah, you kind of just but you know push stuff. Let's see. Blue, question about the film again. So uh, last night I attended the screening and you were there along with actually one of the actors who played Elliot in the film. Yes. Um, and you know, there was a little bit of a Q&A. Do you find that people's responses have been, you know, obviously we talked about things are, are going great, the people have been positive, but have you found that it really resonates with, you know, people in environments like this, that gamers really come to the film, maybe not even knowing anything about it and say, oh, yep, that's, that's my experience in my friendly local game shop. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people um, are surprised that it's just like their game shop. That they feel like it's uh, that we we blended enough personality types and sort of scenarios that you know people identify with with the characters, and right. what they're going through, how they would respond to some of the the drama that unfolds in the the movie and. Uh, but yeah, it's people are like that's just like my shop, or that guy's just like so and so in my movie, Very or relatable. or or I'm or what's really cool is when people identify with the players. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like I'm. A lot of people identify with Paul. Yeah. And it's interesting. We ask them who their favorite player is, or who their favorite character is, and then who they identify with, and it's always not the same person. Right. And um, and I find that really fascinating. You get to learn a lot about people by asking them who do you identify with and. 
know, here's a favorite character. I it's, should ask you that. I, I should, was going to say, yeah, like, Jenga questions right here. We got it. We're workshopping <laughs> this Jenga, whole thing. Yeah, flip it all on the side. I'm going to ask you all these personal questions. Hey, um, yeah. I, so. I welcome it. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? It's it's funny uh, because I am really inclined to say Paul, uh, and oh. not just because you you said that. Yeah. I you know he's just very earnest uh, and and not. I mean, he's he's a good player, but he's not like the best player, and that resonates very much with me. <laughs> so, um, okay. yeah, and he's just you know he's just a good-hearted guy, uh, which is a lot of fun. Oh, cool. cool. So he's uh, your favorite, and you identify with him. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I'm one of those rare, rare ones where the, the same. that's the same person. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, let's go. This is kind of sticking out. Hey, right. uh, easy peasy. That was an easy one. All right. <laughs> um, so you wore several hats uh, for this film. So you wrote yep. the script, you directed the film. Um, co-wrote it. Co- yes, honest. sorry, yes, I, I apologize. It. Co-wrote yep. it. We got to give credit where credit yes. is due. Yep. Um, what was that process like? So I've never worked on a film, but I can imagine it was exhausting. <laughs> well, the writing part uh, was interesting, and it was definitely a, a good um, uh, dynamic and you know tension between you know the the, the actual trading card players, uh, Mike and Sam, right. and myself, who do not, I don't play, um, but I do want to learn how to play. I'm, I'm wanting to do that um, after I ne- make the next one. I still want to stay nice and removed from, from it, but, okay. um, but that struggle of like, I really want to tell this story, and I want these things to happen, but under the context of a tournament, and, the, and, and kind of like making the structure believable and real to people who play different yeah. types of trading card games. And so there is that sort of uh, tension and friction, but I think that pays off well, you know, in the end result. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Well, there okay. you go. Cool. Uh, hmm. You're getting tough. Maybe one of these ones down here. We've yeah. got, we got some good options down yeah. there. One is like, at the top this one. Oh, from the middle. There you go. You got it. Work it out. Oh. Oh dear. Careful. You're kind of rotating it. Now, do I have to stick with this, or can I abandon? You can. It? You can abandon it. Uh, technically, can, by real Jenga real, rules, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed it. to. But we're pretty lax. We want to make sure people have fun with the interview. We don't want to. I was being a little ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> but go. Maybe I'm go real... one of the ones up. One of these two right here. Up here. Yeah, that one looks. Yeah, this yeah, one's super easy. Why didn't I go for that? I didn't see it. Well, normally the middle ones are. are I know. Pretty straight I thought that so. was gonna be an easy one. Jenga cheating. <laughs> there we go. So the film called Tournament centers on a tournament of a fictional card game called Tournament. <laughs> so we're, we're operating. We're like three levels deep in the meta right now. <laughs> Um, and yeah. Yeah. one of the things that you guys did for the film, not only did you sort of do a, a think through of what the cards in tournament would be, you know, come up with names so that you could refer to them and have the players refer to them, uh, but you also actually designed some of the cards. And I have here on the back of my badge, oh. um, I have a copy of a card named Solar Flare uh, oh. that I got last night after oh. the screening. And, um, <laughs> you know, that's... That's adorable, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, that's I think something really interesting. It really yeah. shows like a, a dedication, you know, that you want to have this game feel very real. Is yes. it? Do you would you be interested in doing more with that? I know. Do yeah. you guys want to have it be a real card game? I would love for it to be a real game, and um, and I, I look forward to finding the right partnership to developing that, and um, you know, hopefully we can have it developed and released with the next tournament film. And uh, that's my my goal and my okay. dream. I mean, to make that'd that be pretty fantastic. Um, and that it's filmed either at or takes place either at Origins or Gen Con or both. I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, that's the game. I think would be really cool, and I think the the audience would really love it as well because they seem to be connecting. A lot of people think that they know how to play tournament after the end of the movie. Just based on the just based what on they've that, heard, they've and, extrapolated, um, and, and it's really cute because I'm like, it doesn't exist yet, so. <laughs> Yeah, so it's pretty cool. That would be nice. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be really great. Uh, all right, let's go. Nope, definitely not. Hey, no. Aha. Okay, here we go. <laughs> all right. Okay. Concentration face. Yes. Uh, so one of the things that we have talked 
uh, not insignificant amount here, mm-hmm. about here, while we've been in Ohio, uh, is food. <laughs> what, uh, what's been your favorite thing that you've eaten so far? Oh gosh. Here at Origins. Um, so I discovered the best happy hour right up the street called okay. at Black Point Steakhouse. I like it. And it sounds a little fancy for convention food, but I saw a, like a, just throngs of people across the street and I only had a short amount of time yesterday before my screening. And I was like, I bet you one of those steak houses across the street has a happy hour and then we can get in and out. And luckily we did. So we wound up having an amazing happy hour dinner yesterday and I went back today and um, I guess the crab avocado dip was I love it. the most amazing for seven bucks. It was Sounds, like this big, oh my huge gosh. thing of it. I'm yeah. having price shock in like reverse because coming from the East Coast, yeah. and I imagine for you, coming from California, yeah, that was so cheap reasonable. for us. That was always like, oh, this is great. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> you can't get crab for less than fifteen dollars. Oh yeah, in and this like big shrimp tempura roll, what, you know, okay. for like seven. All right, bucks. Jacob. Jacob perked up at that. I know. Yeah, He's they, a big I fan think it was like half price sushi too, but not tomorrow. So not tomorrow. Yeah, That's sorry. Yeah. Missed opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Back at it. Gosh, I keep picking the hard ones. Let me see if I can get a. Go for a green. Get that one out. Come on. Ah. This little guy is it's the, You know what it is? Rotating. It's this layer right here. I this, know, I keep like. This is just, it's bad news bears. You can do that though. You're almost there. It's like not wanting to wiggle anymore without me like touching it, something. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can always bail out. I think, oh, wait. <laughs> this is dedication right here. She's really going for it. And, oh! <laughs> Jenga. <laughs> so well, oh, well, there we go. That's I all tried. the time we have. Uh, yeah. But you did pull a green, and we have been doing it where that one still counts. Okay. Uh, so let's end with my favorite question. You know it. You love it. What's your favorite donut? Oh, gosh. Probably anything with, uh, maybe I guess a chocolate glazed donut. Chocolate glazed donut. It's Eat been a popular probably. choice. Really? Yeah, yeah. We've had a couple people say that. All right, cool. Well, Patricia de Salvo Vieira, thank, thank you, you very much for joining us. It's thank been a you. pleasure having you. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, guys. Tournament. Tournament is available, I believe you said, on Vimeo. Vimeo, Amazon soon. You can also get the awesome Blu-ray with the great artwork. And um, we will be at Gen Con this August. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. Check them out at Gen Con and check out the film online. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.